In today's fat file, we look at the pearl mussel. The shell of these freshwater mussels can reach around 17 centimeters and tend to be partly submerged into the gravels or sand. They tend to have the same oval shape as marine mussels with a black or brown color and often have a chipped or haggard appearance on the shell due to wear and tear. These mollusks are a prime example of water quality, only being able to live in the clearest and cleanest of waterways, which is why they have drastically declined in Britain, with Scotland holding the largest numbers of them, with scattered populations in Northern England and Wales. They are very long lived, some getting well over 100 years old, making them one of the most long lived invertebrates in the world. Once prized for producing black pearls, very few of these mussels produce pearls, so finding one is highly unlikely. They require fast flowing water to survive and breed. They eject their young into the water and need them to attach to a brown trout or a salmon's gills where they develop. This causes no long term effects to the fish and they drop off after a while and bury into the sediment. The chances of the young encountering a fish are incredibly low so they need a river with a large and healthy population of fish. They are slow to mature, taking up to 15 years and are very vulnerable to pollution, freak floods and overfishing of both themselves and their host salmon. Feeding by drawing in river water and ingesting fine particles of organic matter, an adult freshwater pearl can filter more water in a day than an average person uses in a shower. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, you might want to check out the Bearded Tits podcast, where every Tuesday I interview a different person from wildlife TV presenters, cameramen, zoologists, and artists about their work. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And why not check out the other fat files here? Until next time, cheers.